All right, guys, welcome back, and we're going to do a episode on CoinGecko. All right, so CoinGecko, it's like a, it's almost like a price chart or um, almost like Yahoo finances to the stock market. You can view the prices of stocks. This is for all the cryptocurrencies. So I use two different ones, CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap. Um, I'll put a link to a video on how to use coin market cap. I'll be doing that later on this channel. But if you look, this is kind of, it's a cool feature. So I'm just going to show you how to use the computer. There's also a cell phone app. It's also very easy to use. Oh, forgot to say guys, if you guys like this channel or like this video and like what you see, hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe. Um, it helps the YouTube al algorithms boost the channel. That way more people can see and learn how to be their own banker. So I'm here to educate everyone on cryptocurrencies and how to be their own banker and about different projects. Um, I'm using the Brave browser, awesome browser. Um, right now it's blocking ads. If you guys watch this, you guys can see all the ads will start to pop. Well, maybe right at the bottom, they're probably there. Yeah, see, so there's an ad. Block them ads. <laughs> yeah take that punk all right so the ad's gone um yeah that's, that's what i like about brave it's pretty cool they block the ads so if you look here um you got a couple features so the coolest one is you can favorite the tokens you're looking at that way you can easily just go boop go to your portfolio and boom you can see them all uh awesome feature of this is you can go click this plus sign hey look i just bought um one bitcoin at this price, um, whatever, it's, it's up to you. Or you can say, hey, I just sold this at this price, whatever. And it'll track it and it'll, it'll show you your portfolio change, your total balance. I don't use it much, I just mainly do it on Binance or um, I'll just keep it like <laughs> paper, pencil. Um, I'm, I'm old school, man. But this is how millennials can do it. I'm a millennial as well, I'm just, I don't do it right, I guess. Um, I'm one of the oddballs, but yeah, uh, it, it's pretty easy to use. Um, very user friendly. You can filter so you can say by hashing algorithms, different platforms it's on. So if you want to say, Hey, I only want to get tokens on Polkadot or only on only tokens on waves or on Ethereum, it'll give me all the tokens on Ethereum. So like you see Bitcoin's not there. Boom. It's gone. Um, so these are all the projects that are on Ethereum. Ethereum has a ton of them, man. Or you can go to, let's say, Explore Coins and we'll... Oh, wrong button, guys. Sorry. Um, filter is the button we need to use. So let's say we'll go by... I wonder what the tokens are on Waves. Okay, so here's your Waves tokens. Well, that's a lot more than I expected. I thought it was only going to be like three or four. So let's actually look up ones for... Zillica, it's a project I'm currently looking at. Yeah, they don't have any. So it's it's supposed to be like an Ethereum-like project. Um, here's Stellar. So let's see what they got on Stellar. Not too many, really small, small uh, tokens. But I did do a video on Stellar. I really think it's a pretty cool project. Um, you can check them out, look in my channel. I'll leave a link in the description for you as well. Let's get rid of that. Um, a cool feature of this that I like to see is, let's get off the portfolio and just go to CoinGecko Home. So this is a home screen. You can select, so like you can go DeFi, you can go to Farms. So DeFi is Decentralized Finance. So it's cryptos um, specializing in DeFi. So like Bitcoin is not DeFi. Um, something that would be DeFi is, well, let's see. You click on it and it'll show you the different DeFi. Chainlink is a huge one. It's an oracle. So basically how it works is, I'll do a video on it as well, but it, an oracle is basically, so you go to um, a horse race and you bet on a horse. You pay money to the horse, the guy who owns the horse race or the, um, the cashier. The cashier is your oracle. They basically say, hey, they won or they didn't. That's it. Well, not the directly the cashier, but the owner of the horse track basically says, oh, no, this guy won. So whoever betted on this guy gets paid out. That's what an oracle is. 
technically um, is how you can relate it. Obviously, that's you can already see why Chain Link would be such a great project is because there's a lot of people who will try to uh, they call them bad actors in cryptocurrency. So they'll try to say, oh, no, this guy won. Or, oh, no, this guy won. Just for a monetary benefit. So eh, most things people do is, is for the money. So if, if you can't figure out why something's do, someone's doing something, just think, hmm, what's in it for them? Hmm. Oh, they're making money that way. Okay, that makes sense. So just frame it in that way and it, you'll... You'll learn a lot of things. It's it's a different perspective, but most of the time it's it's about the money. Um, you can go back to the home page. This is also another feature I like. So I want to go to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, it's favorited. Obviously, yeah, almost over or almost two hundred thousand people like it. This it's just what it is. You can um, set an alert. So when Bitcoin goes down twenty percent, you can set it up on your phone that says, "Hey, look, Bitcoin's down twenty percent." Or, hey, look, it's up 20%. Better see what's going on. So you don't have to watch it 24 7. Um, here's just some links. You can go to bitcoin.org, that's their website. Um, you can go to Bitcoin Talk, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. These are just the different uh, social media and communities so you can learn about it. Obviously, here's your chart. I think everything like this, or every site that's going to be like this CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, etc., they're going to have charts. So you can do a regular line chart. Uh, you can do same thing, line chart, <laughs> uh, bar chart, uh, basically shows how it goes up, down, etc., or what it did in that time period. So this is Sunday, the 1st of November, so this looks like it's October. So yeah, it looks like these are monthly, so monthly bars. So this is what it did during that monthly period. But you can kind of see no action here in the boom. Yeah, that would have been a good buying opportunity, guys. Come on, why didn't you tell me to buy? Um, this is a Bitcoin happening countdown. So basically 1,255 days from now, um, the block is going to go from 3.25 or 3.125. I'm sorry. So we're currently at 6.25 and it'll be going to 3.125, which is divided in half and it's going to another four years and, and so on. So this explains why it's important. And basically this is the chart showing the supply and the mining reward so in the future they're trying to get rid of the reward system after this the system's built so in the beginning people were like 50 bitcoins good let's keep them incentivized keep going but back in 2010 50 bitcoin was like nothing now 50 bitcoin is like whoa bro you're making bank what's up i, I want to be your friend um but <laughs> um but it, it it's, it's crazy how it works, but inflation is not a good thing. So Bitcoin solves that. It has 21 million and keeps the, I guess you can say, value from being so distorted or distorted. Um, it, it's, it's just a good process, trust me. With money printing, so you can explain it like this. All right, so you have one piece of cake and you got 20 people who just want a piece of cake. Or I'm sorry, not one piece of cake, but one cake that can be divided in six even pieces. You got 20 people. That piece of cake is really valuable. I mean, it's cake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy some people to get that cake. All right, so now you have 20 cakes and all can be divided in six pieces. Those 20 people, they're gonna look at those cakes and be like, eh. It's cake. I'll eat a piece. Whatever. I'm not going to kill anyone over it because there's 20 pieces. I'll get my cake. I'll get my cake and eat it too, right? <laughs> so that, that's the concept of Bitcoin. There's only 21 million. There's only going to be a limited amount. That's why it makes Bitcoin so valuable. There's also other cryptocurrencies that have taken that perspective. And then there's some that don't, like Ethereum doesn't do that. But they have a burn, so that also is de-inflationary. So there's different projects. You just got to do more research on it to see what it is. Remember, DOR, do your own research. D-Y-O-R. So that's how you use CoinGecko. You can download that. Pretty easy to do. Um, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. And um, glad to have you to the channel. 
and I'll be making more videos like this. Oh, this is another thing I forgot to show you. Um, this is the one hour, 24 hour, seven day. So if you're really curious what happened in the last 24 hours, who went up the most or who didn't, so this, you can go up to the most or who went down the most. Um, the 24 hour volume, who had the most volume, Tether had the most volume. Um, who has the highest market cap? Bitcoin, obviously. Who has the lowest market cap? Uh, well, this is out of the top 100. So you got to go down to the bottom. And you can hit 60. And you can. <laughs> these guys are, some of these are scam coins. So these are non existent now. But be careful with that. Uh, so, yeah, do your own research. Uh, Coin Market Cap helps you, or Coin Gecko, I'm sorry allows you to do some more research and uh, understand what you're getting into. I'll also do another video now, or also do another video later on how to navigate through coin market cap. It's, it's really easy. So thanks for watching guys.